um, just in the off season, just grinding and pushing through it. Was... As an offensive lineman, I know, I know obviously you let obviously thrive on getting that push up front. Do you enjoy that more? You know when you guys. When, even when it's tired, you, you know when they're tired when you're continuing to push that tempo, you know, 6th, 7th, 8th play in? Yeah, we just know that we got them. I mean, you just look in their face and just see, like, just they're down and, like, just got to keep pounding the ball, keep pounding the ball, and then just can't let up on the gas pedal. How different is it blocking for uh, a guy like JT, who can be like a run-first quarterback, and a guy like Dwayne, who's looking to throw first? Is there, do you have, is it different for you? Do you take a different approach at all from your position? Uh, no, I don't. Just protect the pocket, protect the quarterback. You said you always had faith that you would eventually become a starter. Why did you have that faith? Because it didn't look, from the outside at least, that you know there was a clear path. I mean, uh, Coach Stud brought me in for a reason, and it wasn't just the sit the bench, it was also just the play. And, and like I said, he's been in my corner since day one, and he did a great job just coaching me. And you need to tell him? Uh, uh, MCL, PCL. Oh, that's right. That's okay. Two of them. You didn't require surgery, though, right? I did. Oh, you yeah. did? Yep. On the MCL or both? No, on the right leg. Yeah. Was the MCL part MCL, of the training camp? Training camp of 2016. So, how long did it take you to really get back to 100%? Can't tell, but uh, we know. I know how we had it. Great trainers, Stewie, Tyler, my corner. So they push me. to get better every day. Get yeah, treatment every morning. And how would you describe yourself as a player? How would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I'm a good player. I mean, more just having uh, offensive line like in my center, in my left guard, and just having them on the field with me, communicating the game. This makes me a better player. And they have coaches, they're still smart, my corner. Hey Malcolm, there was a time, right months before you committed to Ohio State, I think it was less than maybe 24 hours you were, you were committed to Rutgers, right? Or is, is there, can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? That I story? Say, I was verbally committed. Um, it just changed uh, when I came here on my visit to mm -hmm. OSU. And it just changed the atmosphere. I just never been out here before, so I mean, it's a game changer. They kind of stay want to stay away from, uh, stay close to home, but uh, kind of changed.